Here's what would happen if we nuked Mars. This frozen desert may be smaller than Earth, but it has giant polar ice caps packed with CO2 and water. Some people think nuking them could warm the whole planet, allowing us to settle there in the future. Well, today we're firing off a series of huge thermonuclear weapons, far stronger than the bombs used in World War II, and sending them straight toward the poles of the red planet. The distance between Earth and Mars changes from about 55 million kilometers at its closest to over 400 million kilometers at its farthest. Once we load our bombs into our fastest rockets, we're looking at a travel time of around six to nine months to reach Mars. As the first of our bombs exploded on Mars, you'd see bright artificial suns lighting up the poles, huge flashes designed to vaporize the ice and release a burst of greenhouse gases. But the moment the glow fades, the real problem appears. Mars doesn't have enough CO2 in its ice caps. Even blasting all of it free would only thicken the atmosphere to around 7% of Earth's, nowhere near enough to warm the planet or to make it breathable. In order to blow up Mars entirely, you'd need energy close to what the asteroid Theia delivered to form the moon, far beyond anything human nuclear weapons can produce today. But even if we could drop more bombs, a backfire is likely. Dust and debris from the blasts could block sunlight and trigger a nuclear winter, making Mars even colder than before. Nuking Mars sounds flashy, but the physics, resources, and risks make it more like a sci-fi movie than a real future plan. And some of us wouldn't want to live there anyway, because 